today we're going to go over the very last concept for proving triangles and that is CPCTC which stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent so CPCTC is just the first letter of each of those things corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent um, and all that means that if you already know two triangles are congruent, then all of their parts will also be congruent as well. So remember how we learned angle side angle, side side side, all of those things. So you don't necessarily know that every piece of them are congruent. You only know that like the three sides are congruent. But once you know that, then you know the triangles are congruent. And then after that, you of course can say that all of the angles are then congruent because you have proved the triangles are congruent. So, if two triangles are congruent, then all of their corresponding parts are congruent. And you know whenever you're going to use CPCTC, anytime you're proving that the triangles, triangles themselves are not congruent. If it's another piece, you have to prove the triangles are congruent first, and then you can prove this. So, um, of course, let's list our givens. Mark it on our picture. AE is congruent to BE and CE is congruent to DE. And then, of course, from the picture itself, we know that we can prove that these angles are congruent because they are vertical. So we're using the vertical angle theorem. And that's angle CEA would be congruent to angle DEB. And now we have side angle side on the left and side angle side on the right. So we know that the triangles are congruent. So triangle CEA is congruent to triangle DEB. And it's because they are congruent by side angle side. Now that we have proven that the triangles are congruent, we can say that the other pieces are congruent. So we can say that C and D here are congruent. And the reason why they are is CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. We already know the triangles are congruent, so therefore we know all of the pieces as well would be congruent. So let's practice that again. BD is perpendicular to AC. Triangle ABC is isosceles. with base of AC. And that is given. All right, so we know that BD is perpendicular to AC. BD is here, AC is here, so they are perpendicular, meaning that that would be a 90 degree angle, of course. So 2 is that angle B, D, A, and angle B, D, C are right angles. And that is because of the definition of perpendicular. Right. And then... It says that AB is isosceles with the base of AC, a, I'm sorry, ABC, which is this big triangle, right? And then the base would be AC. So what that tells us is that these would be congruent. So that it says that AB Sorry. AB is congruent to 
B, C. And that was called the isosceles. We're going to call it a definition of an isosceles triangle. Um, I don't really remember what that's called. I forgot. It's in an earlier notes thing. All right, um, so because we know that those are congruent, we also know that the side that they share would, of course, be congruent as well. So this would be congruent. And anytime something is congruent to itself, that is the reflexive property of equality. So now we have the hypotenuse of a right triangle that is congruent. And we have that a leg is congruent. So we know the triangles themselves are congruent because of hypotenuse leg. So triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. And that's because of hypotenuse leg. Okay, so we know we have to use a CPCTC um, because this doesn't say anything about the two triangles being congruent, right? So what do we need to know that BD bisects ABC? So ABC is this top, it's top angle. So we know that it's saying that BD bisects it, which means I would need to prove that those two triangles are congruent. I mean, so those two angles are congruent. So angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. And it's because of CPCTC that we know those two things are congruent. And if those two things are congruent, then BD bisects ABC. And that's because of the definition of an angle bisector. I think that's it. Yep, that's it.